to our squad to come and diagnose the check engine light. So there is a check engine light on the vehicle. So I will go straight to the engine system. I will go straight to the engine system. So I will select control unit, then engine control system, then check the fault code. Then read fault code. Yeah. So it's, it gave me this pending code. So when I have this pending code, then that means I have to check the sunny line. So I'll go to active test. So I'll go to active test. And go to Azos. And I'll go to start. So I'll go to start and check if the sun light is working. Yeah. You, you can hear the sun light is not working. The sun light is not working. So I have to replace the sun light and change it. Testing, testing to know if the oil control valve is faulty. That's the exhaust side, this one. So I plug in the multimeter and I use my bi-directional tool. Bi-directional tool to check. So I plug in. So this is the setup. So I connect the cable to it, then I plug it in. So you see it keeps changing. Yeah, this is how it works. So it keeps changing to 12 volt. But I'll look test it and see. So it tells me that now the circuit is okay. So I have to look test it with a test light and see if the test light will be coming on and off. So I hold this. Then I plug in the test light. So I plug in the test light in as the voltage was going. So you see it's beeping. It's beeping. So that means the circuit is okay. So it's a faulty sensor. So with this one, I don't have to even test the sensor itself because I've seen that the circuit is okay. So it's from the sensor. So now that I've gotten the used part, so I'll fix it and test it. So I'll place it into the hole. But first I have to apply a little oil on the seal. This seal. Fix the ten boot. Mm -hmm. 
back and I say, yeah, no ha no on frame and in chemin. No ha no the abana wall of one. Yes, I'm not saying I'm the same number, and so I want to say on from other than yes, sir. The money talk and say but if you are a genius not ever has a bed, you know then then then. I mean so say car any more, so I'm not for me no more anymore, so I'm just going to say, I don't need the end of the rock. I'm just going to say, 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 The ignition is not on. So I'm going to actively test the oil control valve. Let's start. So you can hear it. So you can you can hear the oil control valve sound. So now I'll clear every fault code. Oil fault code. Changing the oil control valve. The oil control valve timing. It's now in the road, so it's no more at loop, 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 loop mode. So I'll go for a try and see if it is free. Thank you for watching.